the new Samsung Galaxy A15 finally is here. In this video we will check it out and see what's inside and see how it looks. So this is a box. I got mine with 4 gigs and 128 gigabyte of storage. So let's open this thing up. So these are probably some booklets here. And this is a phone. In the box you also get a SIM ejector here. And anything else in the box? Nope. Completely empty. So let's check out the phone. This has got oh a paper protector. Actually the whole box is completely made of paper, even the seal and everything is made of paper. That's kinda nice. So how do you open this? Probably here, right? Let's take it out. And this is the blue black version basically. Dude, it looks absolutely massive actually. Actually this phone is uh, even a bit smaller than the previous uh, A A14. You got a headphone jack here, Type-C charger, probably a microphone port, not sure, probably a speaker port as well. On the side, got a button here. Okay, let's try to turn it on. Got three cameras and a flash. Looks pretty cool. Here I got the SIM tray. Okay, let's set it up, I guess. Have to choose your language. Pretty much all the language here. And we can even set it up with using another device. That's cool. The back of this phone pretty much looks like a glass. However, it's obviously a plastic. However, it looks very, very nice actually. And the sides also feel very nice. They do feel like a plastic sides, obviously, but very good quality indeed. And considering this is a budget phone, the bezels also aren't that bad at all. And you've got a camera here. Overall, a very, very nice looking design indeed. And I'm glad they have a headphone jack as well on this model. That's absolutely awesome. And these SIM card trays are also very cool for these Samsung phones. You've got one SIM card on this side. And you, if you flip it over, you can insert a second SIM card or your micro SD card. So you can even extend the storage of this phone. That's very cool indeed. Okay, it does look like we have finally finished the setup process on this phone. So let's check out what's inside in this bad boy. So this is the home screen. You can swipe to the news. Let's check out how fluid they are. Well, you can see a bit of stutter. And as this, this uh, my phone is a 4 gig version. So that probably explains why. However, still pretty usable, right? Let's check out here. Okay, all the apps. And you know what guys, actually, uh, in past I absolutely hated Samsung phones because they were so bloated with so much junk and everything was so laggy and it was complete nightmare to use Samsung phones however on these new ones look it's super super clean almost like a stock Android basically and we can probably uh, even uninstall these apps such as let's try yeah we can even uninstall all this stuff that comes pre-installed and yeah on the older Samsung phones, you often weren't even able to do that stuff. Okay. Yep, all the junk is you can easily uninstall in just a few minutes. That's very cool indeed. Got a camera here. Got a portrait mode. Video. So this looks like supports only uh, full HD and not 4K so photo got 50 megapixel mode that's cool 
and most of the apps here seem to launch reasonably fast actually. Again, considering this is a budget phone basically. And yeah, actually the previous A14 uh, wasn't this snappy as this one. I had briefly used the A14 and yeah, this is a completely different device. It's uh, more fluid indeed and obviously better screen as well. And yeah, you can straight away see that it's this very good upgrade indeed. Okay, let's check out the screen quality. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. However, the screen actually in real life looks very nice actually. Dude, I'm so impressed actually with the screen. <laughs> I really don't, didn't knew you could get such screen on the cheap devices. It looks pretty much like a serious mid-range phone. Okay, I'm not really sure how well you will be able to see the quality, however, it's absolutely great. And yeah, if you are thinking between the A14 and 15, definitely get the A15 for the screen alone. Okay, check this part out. Very nice indeed. Again, uh, I'm pretty much sure you won't be able to see the full quality in this video. But in real life, it looks really nice indeed. Dude, the colors are so popping. Wow, extremely nice. Okay, now let's check out uh, how fast the internet browsing is on this phone. And this is the 4G version basically. The 5G version obviously has better chip, however apart from that everything is exactly the same. Yeah, the web page slowed very fast actually. And let's check out the sound. So yeah, this is the speaker here. It appears it only has a speaker here. Yeah, one speaker here. This is the maximum volume. Yeah, the sound is actually very good and fairly loud as well. And even when you're turned all the way up, it doesn't really sound that distorted. And yeah, browsing the internet on this is very fast. Okay. I don't know. Let's check out some random stuff about cats, I guess, right? So. Just want to see how fast it actually is. So, let's go to the website. Obviously I don't know how good this website is, but yeah, scrolling everything feels very fast actually. I'm not really seeing much difference from a phone that costs uh, three times more when it comes to internet browsing basically. Very cool indeed actually. And yeah, I actually like the screen form factor way better on this phone. On the A14 it was uh, longer, uh, but yeah, it was kind of narrow. This one actually feels feels better, I would say. The design of it is really nice indeed. And yeah, I really like the back of it as well. Pretty much looks like glass, but of course it's very durable since it's not glass. And yeah, the sides also look very premium. This is just some um, protector I haven't taken off yet. Overall, very good looking phone indeed. The bezels aren't that of the $1,000 phone. However, the screen, I would say, is maybe from a $400 phone. It's that good, honestly. And overall, compared to other 
Samsung uh, budget phones previously that came out. This feels very snappy actually. And yeah, there's zero bulkware pretty much on it. And yeah, very nice indeed. And even the camera of this phone feels fairly decent, especially considering the price of it. Yeah, it's really hard to get a better camera at this price point. It captures very good details actually in a decent light. I haven't tested in it obviously in bad lighting, however, it looks decent. The video recording also seems fairly fast and fluid. Overall, for this price, I really don't think you can get a better brand new phone than this. It looks absolutely great in every way, pretty much. And yeah, no one really should complain about this phone. It's very nice indeed, at least from the first impressions. And guys, if you want to see a full review of the Galaxy A15, check out my channel, as I will be releasing one very, very soon, as soon as I use it for a few days. First impressions of the phone are very nice indeed. I will also be making a full camera review, so check out that video as well.